everyone so um i'm back in the kitchen today i'm gonna make these mini meatloaves with tomato glaze um they are a slimming world recipe they're in the um march april 2019 sorry you can't see that can you there we go march 2000 march april 2019 issue of the slimming world magazine um they are also in this book here free food on the go which is available at the moment so um what you're going to need for the, they are sim free as you can see sorry i do apologize for like the the camera shadows so sim free serving free and the recipe friendly as well apparently okay i've never studied sp so i wouldn't be able to tell you um, but that's what it says there free sp so uh, they serve two to four on the ready in about 45 minutes. It supposedly makes four meatloaves and this is the size of the tin. So four of them, this is actually a six tin, but they're only tiny. So um, we'll see. It does seem a lot of ingredients for though, for four of those tiny little meatloaves, but we'll see. Obviously, I'll be able to fill up more if I need to. Right, so what you're going to need is you're going to need mince now it says you can use beef pork or turkey mince depending on your preference but 500 grams of lean beef pork or turkey mince five percent fat or less so i've gone with the beef for a traditional meatloaf uh, you're going to need two garlic cloves but i use the garlic granules um so it would be half a teaspoon of that okay you're going to need a small onion finely chopped it says a medium carrot coarsely grated well this is what tesco sent me yesterday this is nowhere near a medium carrot this is a large carrot so i probably won't use all of that uh, a medium courgette coarsely grated two teaspoons of dried barbecue seasoning so i've got the schwartz perfect shake uh, you're going to need uh, one medium egg which we will beat two teaspoons of tomato puree and one tablespoon for the glaze you're going to need four tablespoons of passata and a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar and then the recipe then states carrots in ribbon ca ribboned carrots half a cucumbers and capers to serve so i've not got those because i'm not i'm going to have mine with a salad or chips depending on whether i have it as a lunch or a dinner so i'm going to put all this together and show you how to make it okay so you want to preheat your oven first of all so we want to take that to 180 degrees c in a normal oven 160 in a fan oven or gas mock four depending on what type of oven you possess okay and then you need to get your low calorie spray and just spray the little tins i've actually sprayed all six because i don't know how many i'm going to end up making of these but there we go okay so i'm going to use my brefton's chopper for the onion um because it says it needs to be finely chopped so cut it in half place it on there and through it goes brilliant so it might be a bit harder perfect okay for the other one um which is the carrot and the courgette i'm going to grate them using um this one this um is the sioli sioli s-y-o-l-w -E. um again i got this from amazon um and i'm just going to grate this down because like i say it's courgette and the carrot
Now obviously as you can see this one does make a bit more of a mess than the other one. However it is all just going to go into a big bowl. Then I'm just going to go and do the same with the carrot. Okay so I'm going to get a large bowl and you want to add your courgette and your carrot. That's probably enough courgette actually. Just put that to the side. Your onion. Your mince. garlic so it was two quarter teaspoons of garlic or two garlic cloves so as I say I use the garlic granules so that's the equivalent of half a teaspoon of that you also want to put your barbecue seasoning in here so it was two teaspoons of garlic seasoning. Half teaspoon <laughs> Problem is the teaspoon doesn't fit into these little jars so I've got to use the half teaspoon so it's two teaspoons of the barbecue so it's going to be four of these halves. That's one two, three and four. So mince, garlic, onion, carrot, courgette, barbecue seasoning, the egg. Should be fun. Two, tea, two teaspoons of tomato puree. So, one of them and one of them. That's two teaspoons of the tomato puree. Three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. And some pepper. So really it's just a bit of seasoning to be honest. Right, sorry that's my arm in the way. And, and then you're just going to use your hands to mix this. That's why I said this is going to be interesting with the egg. I hate doing this with my hands but yes. you can do it with a spoon but it's it probably mixes better with your hands if I'm honest that's what I said I hate mixing with my hands I except when I'm baking for some reason that always seems to be a bit more satisfying when you're doing it with your hands but I don't know there's just something about raw meats and legs and stuff like that with your hands that just doesn't go well <laughs> as far as I'm concerned so really you just want to make sure you've got everything sort of combined together in there. Okay. 
I like to point out that my hands were clean, as is the worktop, <laughs> so don't worry about any germs or anything getting in. So when you're happy everything is all combined as best it can be. I'll show you the next step. Okay so we've got our mixture as mixed together as best we can and now you're just going to divide it into four portions. Like I say it still looks quite a lot and go into these little mini meatloaf trays here. So, let's see it's down. I know it might be. We will see. So, get. I have a feeling this is not going to fit. So, I think we might get six out of this actually. And these are the right size tins, by the way, I've measured them. It's six and a half by nine and a half by three and a half. So we will say we should get six out of this at least. I might have to do this in two batches, actually, guys. Gonna get six. Obviously I want to make sure it's all filling all the spaces, but it is. Get a bit more in. see guys these are absolutely chock full of meat and veggies and stuff and there's absolutely yeah there's no way you'd have got that into just four so even better I've managed to get six out of this Loaves there, which is great. Just get rid of that. So, without being grudging at all on the portions and what we've put in, that's actually made six of those. Like I said, I've not sort of like scrimped or anything, you know, I've not, you know, sort of like half packed it to try and get more. They are absolutely packed to the gills. There's no way you could get any more in there. 
so absolutely brill for that um so yeah so once you've done that you just need to then bake for 25 minutes in your oven so i'm going to pop those in and i'll come back to you as soon as they are done so while the meatloafs are cooking i'm going to make the glaze so you want to mix your remaining tomato puree so it's one tablespoon for the glaze tablespoon of tomato puree and then four tablespoons of yeah a tablespoon of tomato puree and four tablespoons of passata And finally one teaspoon so, teaspoon of your balsamic vinegar Just mix that together. With a little bit of seasoning. And that's your glaze done. And that will go on top of the meatloaves when they come out of the oven. Okay, so then take a small um non-stick tray just give it a bit of a spray with your fire light or your low calorie spray and then i'm just going to show you the glaze these have come out the oven now there will be a lot and i didn't realize how much there is a lot of grease on these so even though it's less than five percent fat mints there is still a lot of fat on these so now we've got to figure out how to get these out and onto the baking tray so i'm just trying to think what will be easiest i think these to be honest oops oh. There we go that has cooked through quite nicely they will be going back into the oven shortly so don't worry so we're just wanting to pop them down sort of baked side up as it were your tray there we go these are looking good just be careful because they are hot ow so. I mean you can see how much fat is on here and also in this dish so we are getting rid of a lot of the fat, fortunately. There we go. 
Right, so we've got our six little mini meat loaves here looking rather tasty but they're not quite finished because we need to put on our tomato glaze so just spoon it over the top i've got a little pastry brush here which i'm just going to use so we're just going to pop a little spoonful on top of each that out a bit over the tops of your meatloaf spread over and then you're just going to pop that back into your oven just for about five minutes um just to glaze off the top so back you go in there i'm just going to set our timer for five minutes So after about five minutes, just bring it out. And there we are. And as you can see, there's, a, there's still some more fat come off that anyway. So obviously we're gonna let that sit. So you just need to, right, you can either serve those hot as they are now, or alternatively, I'm just gonna leave those to cool um, and then I'll just wrap them up in cling film or tin foil and pop them in a airtight container because so I'll be taking those for work. Well, I'm having a few. T I'm ha I'll be having some tomorrow night with some chips. So two tomorrow night with some chips, and I'll probably pop two in for my lunch on Wednesday. Uh, and then I've got another two. Um, that I can just snack on really they will chill up to three days um so like you say so like I say you, you don't have to eat them right away and they also freeze as well so I'll probably pop two in the freezer um two for tea tomorrow night and two for lunch on Wednesday <laughs> 